Alright guys, today we're going to look at the Droid Razor. It just came out uh, November 11th, 2011. We'll look over the phone and then I'll talk about some of the specs and what came with it. On the outside of the phone, on the top here, we have your charge port and your HDMI port. You can use that to attach to the web dock and lap dock uh, accessories. Uh, you have your 3.5 millimeter jack for connecting headphones. On this side, you just have your SD card slot, which is covered. Nothing on the bottom. Uh, I think I showed the power and the uh, volume buttons over here. And it's uh, very slim, very light, and uh, the screen is great. It's a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED display, very nice looking. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, 1 gigabyte of DDR2 RAM, and it also has an 8 megapixel uh, rear face facing camera and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. The rear facing camera has a flash. Uh, this has Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, it has lots of great uh, ex uh, add ons and things you can do, like the WebTop app lets you multitask on a larger screen with Firefox browser. Uh, there's thousands of apps in the App Store. Uh, you can use this as a mobile hotspot if you uh, a a update your plan, so you can do that. And you can share this when you're on 4G, as you can see. I got 4G up here. You can share it, your mobile hotspot, it says, with up to eight devices. It has one of the largest batteries so far. It's got a 1780 milliamp lithium ion battery. And the talk time is approximately 12.5 hours with a standby time of up to 8.5 days. Uh, it comes with 16 gigabytes of internal memory and it also has a 16 gigabyte micro SD card which comes installed. Uh, let's go over what came in the box now really quick. Got it down here on the floor. In the box you really don't get much but the phone. A couple instruction manuals and little manuals. You got your SIM card card which as you can see my SIM card was already put in the phone. You got your box and then you just got your charge cable and your uh, wall plug. This is an AC plug. Uh, I'm going to have the, uh, the LapDock 100 soon and I'll be doing a review on that showing how that works with this phone. But this video we're going to just stick to the razor and show some of the features of it. So I used to have my last phone which I don't know if I, yeah, I do have it on me, was the original Droid. And this is a couple years old now. There is a huge difference in the speed and everything of my old Droid and the new Droid. This new one, I think it's 2.3.5, uh, let's see what the, uh, it's 2.3.5 Android version, and uh, it also, it's just, it's just amazing. I mean, let, me go, let me go through some of the uh, features here. Like if we try to go into, let's say, Netflix. I cannot do this on my old Droid, but on this new Droid with the 4G network, which runs at about 12 megabytes a second, which is pretty darn quick. That's faster than many people's home internet. You can play instant movies or anything on the go. Let my Netflix load up here for a second. We'll just show you a second. I'm going to click resume watching what I was watching last. Don't know if I hit the resume button. There we go. And let it resume this. And as you'll see, within seconds, we're going to have HD video of whatever I want playing right on my screen. Of course, it'll take one second to load here, but let it get in. And there we go. Within a few seconds, we have HD video right on my phone get out of this. So you can use your Netflix, you can watch videos on the go anywhere with the 4G network. Uh, of course you got Pandora, you got your Gmail which is real quick and easy to get into and see. You have uh, pretty much anything you want, your app market, everything. So this was pretty much just a quick overview. I'm going to show you guys one or two more quick things and then in a later review I'll go over some more in-depth uh, description as I learn more about the phone. Let me just go ahead and show the cool feature that, of course, you can talk to the phone and tell it what to do. We'll try uh, just navigating somewhere. Navigate to McDonald's. Tell it to navigate somewhere, and it's going to know where you are, and it's going to bring up a list of the closest uh, McDonald's to choose from. It might are. Yep, here they go. And you can choose a McDonald's to go to. I'll just click on the first one. And then again, within a few seconds, head southwest on Ironwood Court toward Ironwood Court, then turn left onto. 
it's a very quick phone. It's amazingly fast compared to my original Droid, and looks like it's going to have a lot of fun features. The browser again works great. Um, put the camera down here. We'll show how the keyboard here works a little bit. The keyboard works great on screen. It's pretty big. Uh, if I type in YouTube, nine week hedgehog. Hedgehog bath. Then video will come up, and you can click to play it in the browser or on uh, on the YouTube app. And again, within seconds, you can search on Google, and you could be playing another video from YouTube right on your phone. You can select high quality, and it'll play in HD. It'll just take another extra second to load up here. But I mean, this phone works amazingly quick. Uh, it's the newest phone out for uh, the Verizon network, and it's really amazing. So. Like I said, I'll get a more in-depth review later, but check out that screen picture. That's just from a YouTube video. That's not even like 1080 or anything. So, uh, great phone. Have some more later. Like I said, on the uh, LapDoc 100 version I got. I uh, haven't got it in yet, but I should have it in the next day or two. There's my dog playing with his squeaky toy. So, uh, see you guys later. If you have any questions, let me know.